In this video I'll show you how to set up a rear display for use with Focus POS. Focus uses the extended desktop feature in Windows for the rear display. That means the computer running the rear display must be capable of an extended desktop. This usually means the graphics card has a hookup for the primary monitor as well as another hookup for a secondary monitor. For the purpose of this video I've already set up the monitors so I'll show you how to set it up the extended desktop in Windows. First thing you do is go to your display settings. And you'll see now that we have two monitors in here. Well, we want to extend the desktop onto our secondary monitor. And we want to set the resolution for the uh, rear display. Well, in this case, we'll do 1024 by 768. Go ahead and hit apply. And if you want, you can click identify monitors. And that way, there's number one on one monitor, number two on the other monitor. It's important to note that Focus uses the primary monitor, monitor number one, for the order entry, and the secondary monitor, monitor number two, for the rear display. So after we have that set up, we can just hit OK, close up the windows, and now we'll actually set up the rear display in Focus. We'll go into Setup, go to Order Entry, and then Rear Display Formats first thing to do is to name the rear display format. And I'll just name it front counter. I want to choose an image or a video. In this case I'm going to choose an AVI I have set up called BurgerVid. And if you notice there's two types. There's full screen or check. Full screen image or video will display when there's no check on the screen. The check image will display when there's a check on the screen. In this scenario, we'll just use the full screen. Active time. You can set the time to display the image or the video based on the time ranges that you've previously established. Or you just leave it to none to always display. Seconds is the number of seconds for to display the pictures, and loop is to use with the uh, video. Since I only want one video, I just want it loop continuously forever so I'll just say loop. I want to make sure it's active. My second picture, it's holiday season let's say, so I want to make sure we have gift cards. Customers know that we have gift cards. So whenever I order in their food it's going to rotate between the, the gift card and the online ordering one I'm going to set up next. Active time I want it all the time and I want to display this one five seconds. I'll go ahead and set up another one, like I just said, online ordering. Let the customers know that we have that. We'll say check, and I want this for eight seconds. So there we go. We have one video for when there's customers aren't ordering anything, and we have two images for when the customers are ordering. I'll go ahead and save it and close it. Now set up the station that's going to have the rear display attached to it. So go to location stations. We are working with the focus station. Then we go to devices. And down here in rear display options, our formats can be front counter. And our width and height is the same setting that we had in the extended desktop, it was 1024 by 768. Save it and close it. Okay, we are now done setting up the rear display. If you exit out of focus and start it back up, you'll see the rear display in action. One other thing that you can do with the focus rear display is do a little bit of suggestive selling when a customer is ordering a product. In this case, a customer, whenever somebody orders a bacon cheeseburger, they want to suggest, hey, would you like an apple pie with that? So whenever time somebody orders a bacon cheeseburger, they want the screen image to flip to suggest an apple pie. In order to do that, we just go to menu items and we will find our bacon cheeseburger right here and it's a training file it goes underneath the training file rd dessert and then save and close now one thing to note the first three letters of this file need to contain the letter R, D, and a hyphen in that order. This way Focus knows, hey, this is a rear display format, so just show it in the check field when a customer rings in 
the bacon cheeseburger. Save and close. Do that for all the items that you want to display a special um, uh, prompt for. And once you get done with that, you're done. Thanks for taking your time.